Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Madam Intan. I would like to represent my team to explain about the gas chromatography with FID. To start it off, what is gas chromatography? Gas chromatography is separating and analyzing a sample compound. It can analyze liquids, solids, and gases. It uses columns to separate the different components, and the data from the gas chromatography machine is collected and detected with the use of a detector. For our case, we are using the FID, which stands for Flame Ionization Detector. So why use gas chromatography? It is mainly used as a quality control, research and development, and environmental and food safety. For example, it is used in the environmental and food safety as a way to determine if a sample or a finished product is safe for human consumption. These are some of the example or typical product which is analyzed using the gas chromatography machine. It is separated into three types which is the gases, liquid and solid. When using gas chromatography as a way to analyze a sample compound, the volume of the sample compound that needs to be tested is very small. Only 5 to 10 microliters of the sample compound is actually needed for the process. The gases and the liquid sample product is injected into the gas chromatography machine using syringes. While the solid sample must be extracted and turned to liquid before it can be analyzed. This is the detector that we are using, which is the FID. So FID is a non-selective detector which detects anything organic and it uses a destructive process. This is what an FID looks like. The FID works by directing the gas phase output from the column into the hydrogen flame. So a voltage of 100 to 200 volt is applied between the flame and into an electrode. The electrode is called a cathode, while another electrode is placed away from the flame, which is called the anode. It is usually placed below the flame. By burning the gas output from the column, the burning carbon particles will emit electrons. These electrons changes the current values which is measured by the electrodes. This change will then be transmitted and displayed as a chromatograph. For this part, I would like to explain the working principle of gas chromatography with FID using a drawing. This is where the sample compound is injected. The sample compound is evaporated into gas and stored inside the gas chromatography machine. For an example, there are two types of different compounds from the sample compounds. The first compound is listed as the orange compound and the second one is the green compound. This is where the inert gases will be put. It is important to use in inert gases because it is used to transport the sample compound through the column and the sample compound cannot be transported by itself. This, After going through the column, it will go through the detector and then the detector would turn the reading into a, into a readable graph which is called a chromatograph. For this part, I would like to explain what happens in the column during the process. In the column, there are two different compounds, which is the green compound and the orange compound. As you can see, in the first phase, the orange compound and the green compound is closely traveling together. So during the later phases, during the second phases, uh, the green compound is left behind while the orange compound is leaving by a marginal amount. So when the, gr when the orange compound goes through the detector, the graph will show the first peak. The first peak is the orange compound, while the second peak 
will show after the green compound has passed through the detector. The faster the compound is shown into the graph, the more volatile it is. So that means that the orange compound is more volatile than the green compound. As we can see here, the first compound that is shown in the graph is more volatile than the compound that is later shown in the graph. This also means that the faster or the more volatile the compound is, the lower its boiling point and the smaller its mass or the smaller the particle of the compound is. Now I would like to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of FID. The advantage is that it is simple to operate and maintain and it is very accurate. The disadvantage is that it uses a destructive process which means it destroys the sample which is used for the experiment. That is all I have about the gas chromatography with FID. I would like to thank you for watching this video.